The Surface Pro 5 is going to be coming sometime in 2017, and Microsoft is probably going to be doing something really amazing to keep the Surface line relevant. Hey what's up everyone, safety and technology news here, and in this video I'm going to be rounding up all of the rumours that we know about about Microsoft's upcoming tablet. So when I first reviewed the Surface Pro 4, I was really blown away by how good of a laptop it was. It had robust processing power, a perfectly sized display, and a really nice aspect ratio, plus a few critical add-on accessories like the Surface Pen and the Type Cover. With the arrival of Windows 10, the operating system really proved what the Surface Pro 4's hardware was capable of, and that's when I think the Surface line really came into its own. In fact, Microsoft's actually become a trailblazer. Apple's iPad Pro and Google's Pixel C have both copied the Surface Pro in a lot of different ways, and that I think proves how relevant the Surface line is. That's why it's so critical that Microsoft gets the Surface Pro 5 right, and based on their previous track record, I'm actually pretty optimistic for right now. So first off, when is the Surface Pro 5 actually going to be releasing? Well, Microsoft announced the Pro 4 in October of 2015, and it unveiled the newest high-end Surface Book i7 in October of 2016. The majority of Surface branded products have been released in the month of October, but a handful of debuts have also come in February and in June. Although some rumours are pointing to an early 2017 release, I'm really not expecting to see the Surface Pro 5 until spring 2017 at the soonest, and I wouldn't be surprised if Microsoft pushed the release date slightly later in this year. Even if Microsoft does push the Pro 5's release date back a little bit though, I really think that it will be worth the rate. The current Pro 4 already uses the Skylake Intel processors, the Core M3, the Core i5, or the Core i7, but according to a report from Forbes, the Surface Pro 5 is likely to come equipped with the Kaby Lake Core i7, which is Intel's newest generation generation of computing architecture. That means that the Surface Pro 5 will be very competitive, especially in comparison to most other hybrids available now, and it'll be able to handle pretty demanding software applications. It's also always fun to consider Microsoft changing its position on the Surface Pro 4's keyboard cover. Although it's traditionally been sold separately for a price of $129, the keyboard cover really is an integral part of the Surface experience, and really there aren't even that many commercials that Microsoft is advertising with that don't have the keyboard cover in it. It would be really nice if Microsoft could just roll the price of the keyboard cover into the Surface Pro 5's base price, as Samsung's already doing with the competing Tab Pro S, and although this is unlikely, it's definitely not impossible. Now the touchscreen stylus on the other hand, which is included by default, got a nice upgrade with the current model, shifting from the Pro 3's awkward plastic tether to the Pro 4's more elegant magnetic attachment. In January, Patently Mobile reported that Microsoft had filed a patent application for a rechargeable Surface Pen in dock, and according to that filing, the Surface Pen's triple A or button cell battery would be replaced by a rechargeable battery, which is very similar to the iPad Pro's Apple Pen, which can be recharged via its lightning connection. Speaking of connections, it's very possible that we'll be seeing Microsoft following Apple's example with its new line of MacBook Pros by adding a USB-C port to the Surface Pro 5, but unlike Apple, I really don't think it's all that likely that Microsoft will be removing ports to make room for it. Now, the Surface Pro 4 is very expensive unless you opt for the very entry-level $899 model, and for that price, you get a tablet with an Intel Core M3 CPU, 128GB of solid state storage, and 4GB of RAM, plus a touchscreen stylus. If you add in a more robust Intel Skylake processor, the price increases to $999, and if you upgrade the storage to 256GB and the RAM to 8GB, you're already at $1299. An even faster processor and a bigger hard drive could push the price above $2,000. Back in March of last year, News Every Day published a report that the Surface Pro 5 will start at $899 as well, and an Intel Core i7 model will cost $999, with the i7 Extreme version costing $1599. Those do seem like pretty reasonable prices, and that's also in line with more recent reports that we've seen about the Surface Pro 5 as well, so I think it's very likely that Microsoft is targeting a similar pricing scheme. But with that said, let me know what you'd like to see in the Surface Pro 5 in the comment section down below. I know for a fact it's going to be a really good hybrid, and I'm definitely looking forward to it. In fact, it's probably one of my most anticipated laptops of this year. But once again, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and with that said, I will see you next time.